Hi everyone, how's life? I hope you're doing well. Today I am in Paris at Charles de Gaulle Airport and I want to show you one of the ways in which you can travel from this airport to Disneyland Paris. A lot of you often ask me what's the best way to get to Disneyland Paris and why my answer is always the Eurostar. That only applies if you actually live either in London or somewhere that's close to London so you can get to London and get the Eurostar from there. If you live anywhere else or internationally in another part of Europe or even outside of Europe then more than likely you're going to be flying to Paris. And if you are flying to Paris, either the airports, either Charles de Gaulle or Orly, you do have a couple of options to get from the airport to Disneyland Paris. Now the option that I'm going to show you today is the magical shuttle bus. This is probably the most convenient and maybe the most magical way I guess to go. Now I've never taken it myself, it's going to be my first time going on it because I don't tend to often fly to Paris, I normally get the Eurostar myself. But I know that a lot of people do recommend it, my aunt and cousin have taken it when they've flown here from Austria so we're going to go on this journey together, see how it's like, see what we think of the experience but before we actually go on the magical shuttle let me tell you what the price is. So the prices vary but they kind of start from around 20 euros, 20, 21 euros and apparently they take about one hour long to get you from the airport at least from Charles de Gaulle to Disneyland Paris so it's not the quickest way to get to your resort but hopefully it will at least be somewhat magical. Now the first thing you need to do if you're taking the magical shuttle from Charles de Gaulle airport is to come to Terminal 2E that is where uh, you can take the magical shuttle from to get to Disneyland Paris. There are signs for Terminal 2E basically as soon as you land. Uh, obviously Charles de Gaulle airport is quite a big airport so depending on which terminal you land in or you know where you're coming from you might have to do quite a long journey to get to Terminal 2E. So just bear that in mind. Uh, and yeah, like I said, the ticket's about 22, 23 euros. Uh, easy to book online. I literally booked mine today. You know, when I landed, as I was waiting for my luggage, I decided to just book it. And yeah, here is my luggage. I've actually got a full-on suitcase with me, but that's because I've come from Dubai. So I've been on a long-haul flight. I haven't just come from London. But yeah, let's uh, go on our journey towards uh, Terminal 2E and see what the place is like. Also, whilst we're on this walk, Paris really wants to remind us that it loves us. We love you too Paris. Also let me tell you it's not easy to vlog and carry a quite big suitcase with you at the same time but at least Paris loves us. Anyway we are getting very close now I believe to the magical shuttle terminal to you over here. I did just ask a staff member as well they said at least turn left very soon and the bus should just be outside. Well turns out we're actually going towards terminal 2F. I believe terminal 2E and 2F are both dedicated to the magical shuttle here. I keep wanting to say magical express which also no longer exists at the moment by the way but yeah 2 F is right next to E anyway so don't worry just uh, our staff members if you're not sure that's what I've done um, and the bus should hopefully be waiting outside and there it is we have a sign magical shuttle over there which is definitely um, good to see oh yeah and there's a sign there as well I don't know if you can see it that literally says Disneyland Paris pretty quiet here the bus is just over there though conveniently the time at the moment is about 10 minutes to 10 I think these buses come every hour roughly so obviously make sure you bear that in mind if you don't want to you know wait a whole hour you might want to consider taking another option oh my god it's cold coming here from like a whole month in Dubai Lord have mercy I do have obviously my jacket there as well but I'm just about to go on a bus so I don't know if it's worth putting it on just now the actual magical shuttle looks uh, pretty empty as well which is nice I like an empty bus, means more space, means less worries. <laughs> I want to sing Akuna Matata now. Right, okay, I think I'm gonna have to put this here. Oh, look at this. From airport to Disneyland Paris. And it's red as well, it's got some stars on it. Basically, I think this is as magical as it gets, to be honest. We are gonna go all the way to the back, I think, because that's where the empty seats are. There you go. I think this might be a nice place to sit. Right, I'm in my seat. I want to give a big shout out to the lovely driver as well. So basically, as I've mentioned earlier, I booked my seat, my ticket for this magical shuttle this morning, you know, when I landed in Paris because I wanted to make sure that the timings work. You know, as I said, these buses are more or less every hour. So I didn't want to have to wait a whole hour if my, you know, if my plane landed a bit late or a bit early. And whilst booking it was really easy and simple to do, the problem was that whilst I got a confirmation email and a confirmation of payment and a code I didn't actually get my ticket so I wasn't able to download my ticket so I'll show you kind of what I got here hopefully you can see it um, as you can see it tells you oh like you've booked everything this is your code for confirmation and it gives you an option to click on there to download your ticket now I tried this multiple times and I just was not able to download my actual ticket for the magical shuttle I'm not sure why I don't know if it's because I've got an iPhone and maybe this only works on Android it does give you an option to like download a 
Adobe and like open the ticket on Adobe Reader but I don't even know how to do that on my iPhone like pretty complicated so obviously once I got to the magical shuttle I did mention this to the lovely driver I showed him my um, confirmation email I you know asked him if he knew how to download this he wasn't able to download it either so it took a little bit of time for him to kind of figure out how he can confirm you know the fact that I've got a ticket for this because the regular way is for them to just scan your ticket so my assumption is that if you actually are able to download your ticket you're gonna get a code for them to be able to just scan very quickly obviously whilst I had bought a ticket I couldn't actually download it um, in the end after about maybe three or four minutes um, he just had to put the code in you know the confirmation code and you know my name popped up and it confirmed to him that I do obviously have a ticket I felt really bad because you know I don't want to make things difficult for people but he was lovely and I apologize like 400 times and thankfully because it's a very quiet bus and I came with plenty of time to spare it wasn't much of a problem so yeah just bear that in mind you might not be able to download your ticket for me it wasn't much of a problem but I know a lot of people want to be very very organized and have everything ready so maybe if you're getting the magical shuttle bus and you really want to make sure you have your ticket it might be a better idea to just book it in advance like book it on a computer so that you're able to properly download it on a computer rather than a phone and then have it ready anyway let's quickly show you the view that I have from my almost back seat there's still a couple of rows behind me I think just maybe one or two rows but yeah as you can see there are only two more parties of people here I want to say on this particular bus it might be just the time of morning that I'm here maybe if I arrive a little bit later it might be a bit busier I did want to also show you that over there because it just makes me happy so obviously the Land Paris logo is there with an airplane sign as well on the back of the bus I have to say in terms of cleanliness in terms of the quality of the shuttle bus so far I'm impressed I think the only thing that could make it better is if they had the screens like they used to do at the Magical Express in Florida where where, you know the screens would come down and you'd be able to just watch footage of Disneyland Paris and the Disney characters and Disney cartoons and trivia things like that but that's okay I feel like I'm asking for too much now also I just wanted to clarify the time it's actually uh, 9 a.m. in the morning at the moment or 2 past 9 not 10 o'clock I'm not sure why I was convinced it was 10 o'clock but um yeah 9 o'clock in the morning so pretty early and this is what uh, the outside of Charles de Gaulle Airport looks like right now a nice crispy pretty cold uh, morning here in Paris and here we go we are finally moving it's about seven minutes past nine in the morning um, I think the bus driver was just waiting for a couple of more people to join and as soon as they got on the bus um, we started moving so exciting time I'm gonna time how long it takes to get from here to Disneyland Paris now and the timer is on hopefully see you in Disneyland Paris very very soon and there it is we've just come into the Newport Bay Hotel which is gonna be my hotel um, for this day Wow I actually napped a little bit on the journey and time wise it's only been 34 minutes and we are literally at Disneyland now well at an official Disneyland hotel uh, the Newport Bay Hotel which is right next to Disneyland and there it goes the magical shuttle bus continues its journey going to other Disney hotels which are nearby as well as it actually goes to the entrance of the park as well I believe um, we have just you know come off the bus my two blue bags it is cold I don't know if it's snow on the floor or what but it is a freezing morning here as I've mentioned a couple of times but yeah that really didn't even take that long as you saw about 34 minutes half an hour which is like a lot shorter than I thought it would be online uh, the results that I was getting were saying about an hour it would take roughly but there you go this is Newport Bay I am gonna go and check in now because it's still very early it's about a quarter to 10 a.m. I highly doubt <laughs> I'm gonna have my room ready just yet but I'm gonna show you the little bit of the inside of the hotel as well once I've checked in I think I'm still a little bit surprised at how quickly you managed to get here I was actually half asleep <laughs> and I, it's, it's a good thing I did you know keep uh, open my eyes momentarily to look out and I didn't realize oh my god we're actually at Newport Bay just because I had a feeling that we were getting somewhere but I didn't expect it to be already um, you know Newport Bay hotel at Disneyland Paris looks like Newport Bay still has some of its Christmas decorations up even though we're in the middle of January now and that's the security checks to go inside well security checks were a lot shorter than I thought they would be it took about maybe three minutes the queues that you the people you saw outside were waiting for the bus to go to the parks I believe rather than to get the checks done we need to get a bracelet now so we've got our bracelet for the day it's a purple color basically what these bracelets are is to signify the health pass here so uh, to go into any hotels 
hospitals or any buildings here in uh, Paris and France at the moment, you do have to either be fully vaccinated or show a negative uh, COVID test. And obviously, um, here in Disneyland Paris, to make things a little bit easier so that you don't have to get checked every single time you come into a hotel every day, uh, they give you one of these bracelets. And it does say that they, ch they change the colors every day. So I think it's either every two days or every day that they change the colors. So yeah, once you have your bracelet on, uh, when cast members see that you've got the bracelet on, they know that you've been checked in terms of your health pass, so you don't have to constantly show it every single time you come and go. Lord have genuine mercy, Newport Bay uh, check-in. It's pretty busy this morning. I mean, look at this queue. I mean, it's organized. The cast members are doing everything they can to make things go as smoothly as possible, but it's a long queue. So I am going to time this as well, just to see how long it takes, because I'm curious. All right, well, that whole long queue only really took about, you know, 15, 16 minutes. I'm just now waiting for the cast member to get my um, all my documents ready and we should be ready to go. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I mean, the queue was quite long. I was in the queue for about 15 minutes, but that's to be expected if you get here in the morning. And Newport Bay is one of the largest hotels. In fact, it's the biggest hotel uh, on Disney property. So it's got loads of rooms, loads of families come here, but it doesn't matter. I've got my key in there and all the information. Big shout out to the lovely cast member who dealt with me as well. I'm really gutted that I didn't get her name. By the time I realized that I didn't know her name, I'd already left the queue. And because it's so busy, as you can see behind me, I didn't want to go back just to see her name but she was so so lovely like so kind and just even though it's so busy she made everything feel very relaxed and just yeah very very magical anyway because it's 10:15 uh, a.m um the room's not ready and that's just normal like don't expect anything else that's just how it is always at disneyland paris they actually mentioned this on their website as well if you're booking a disneyland uh hotel so basically one of the disney property hotels your room is not guaranteed to be ready until uh 3 p.m sometimes you might get lucky and get it maybe a couple of hours early Early, but it's never guaranteed and obviously 10 a.m. is like five hours before I mean there'll be still people in the room because checkout's not until 11 a.m. so obviously you need to wait for people to check out and then um, for it to be clean for the next guests so yeah I've got about four or five hours if I can get my room but I've got all my information ready here Mickey seems very happy about this as well look at him I will do a full tour of the Newport Bay Hotel by the way including a tour of the shop here as well I know a lot of you will be interested in this so make sure you're subscribed for this video coming up very very soon soon hopefully but for now I'm gonna go back out again to um, get rid of my suitcase basically so they can keep your suitcase for free if your room's not ready don't worry there's a place in all the Disney hotels where they'll happily look after your suitcase for you uh, until your room is ready and that's what I'm gonna do right now it's just over there but yes that is basically it for this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope it was at least a little bit informative I enjoyed taking the magical shuttle for the first time I thought it was definitely a good option it was a lot quicker the journey than I thought it would be it was a nice bus you know obviously it was quite quiet uh, you know today when I took it I imagine if it's busy it might be a little bit less comfortable but honestly still fine you know great service and you saw a bit of me checking in as well I wasn't planning to show this in this particular video but there you go about the Newport Bay Hotel but if you want to see a full-on tour of this it'll be in a separate vlog thank you so much for watching this video if you have any suggestions of other future videos let me know in the comments down below as well of course there are other ways to get to Disneyland Paris from the airports as well you can also get a train you can get an uber there's also the option to get the rer which is the cheapest option i have actually made a video all about how to get or use the rer from Gare du Nord to disneyland paris obviously not from the airport but you'll still get the gist of how to use that as well if you want to check that out i'll leave the link down below thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye bye